were uh, friends since they were kids. And uh, the, the main uh, interest they both liked was baseball. They went to a little league together, played high school, senior league, and so forth. So as time went on, Bill, Bill passed away. And of course, Joe was very sad. You know, he lost his best friend. So he's sitting in his chair one night, you know, pondering. And all of a sudden, there's an apparition on the wall. And he says, hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. He says, is that you, Bill? He says, yes. You in heaven, Bill? Yes. Tell me, Bill, do you like it in heaven? Yes. He says, I got one question, Bill. Do we play baseball in heaven? He says, well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is we do play baseball in heaven. The bad news, you're pitching Sunday. <laughs> calls the son from out of you know from out of the city to come in pay the last respects to his father so he comes in the kid you know can hardly uh brush the tears from his mouth he says oh dad you'll be okay he says, no son he says i know this is it i'm dying he says would you do me one favor son he says sure dad anything he said now your mother makes the best apple pie in this county would you go in and get me a wedge of that pie because when I die, I want the taste of that pie on my mouth. He says, sure, Dad, anything. So the kid goes in, comes out five minutes later, no pie. So the, the old man says, where's the pie, Sonny? He says, Mama said that's not to laugh to the funeral. <laughs> Sarah and uh, Nathan and Sarah are celebrating their 50th win wedding anniversary. So he made a real sacrifice. He hired a hall and they engaged a fancy uh, caterer. And um, after all the uh, you know um, testimonials and so forth, he asks his kids to speak. So Debbie gets up there and says, "Dad, I've had a terrible week. Been so busy." My husband's been working out of town. Um, I had to uh, uh, take uh, Kevin for his violin lessons, and then uh, I had to take uh, uh, Mary Ann for, uh, for her Girl Scouts, and I just haven't had time to buy a present. He says, oh, that's okay. As long as your kids are here, that's what counts. So he goes to the next daughter, and she says, Dad, I have the same problem. My husband's working overtime, I have to schlep, Duncan for his bar mitzvah lessons, and then uh, 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 Peggy Sue has got uh, soccer practice every day, and I just haven't had time to buy you um, a present. He said, that's okay. Uh, I understand. As long as you're here. And he calls on his next two kids, and they basically give him the same story. So the father says, you know, I have, an, I have a confession for you kids. He says, now, your mother and I were never actually married. So I want you to know that, you know, no clergyman, we, we were never married. So one of the boys got up and says, if you weren't married, that means we're, he says, yes, and cheap ones too. <laughs> sewer department and, and, and actually in the same section and they lived in the same apartment house and Mrs. Kelly noticed that at the end of the day Mr. Cohen would come with a relatively clean coveralls and Kelly would be full of muck and junk and just really filthy. So she confronts him and she says I can't understand it. You both have the same job. Why is it that Mr. Cohen comes back with clean coveralls and you're as though he's filthy. He says, well, it's the nature of the job. He says, my job is to go into the sump, knee deep, knee deep in muck, and I shovel all the junk in the buckets, and I hand it out to Cohen, and he puts it in the truck. She says, why, you dumb mick? 
He says, why don't you at least, why don't you at least alternate the jobs and let him go in the sump and hand, you know, and pass the scum to you. He says, what? I'm not taking any shit from any Jew. <laughs> going to have to take a test on American history. So for moral support, he brings two of his buddies with him. So he goes before the judge and the judge says, now Tony, he says, you know, before we grant your citizenship, you have to take this test on American uh, history. He says, okay. He says, who's the first president of the United States? Tony says, George Washington. And then his buddies go, yay, yeah, boy, Tony, yeah, boy. He says, yes, that's correct. He says, who was the 16th president? He says, Abraham Lincoln. Yay, Tony, yada boy, Tony. He says, who shot Lincoln? He says, I don't know. Yay, Tony, yay, Tony. You don't squeal on nobody. <laughs>